On Tuesday, President Obama will be giving his final State of the Union address, but on this day in 1790, George Washington gave the first one in history. One America's Cameron Kramer explains the significance of the address and noteworthy moments from the speeches over the decades. It's the annual tradition that informs the public about issues currently facing the nation, but the State of the Union address is almost as old as America itself. Article 2, Section 3 of the Constitution declares the President must address Congress from time to time. George Washington was inaugurated in April of 1789 and soon decided that the start of the new year was the best time to formally address Congress. Historical accounts say Washington wrote his speech on January 3, 1790, and five days later he presented it to Congress. Washington led off with a call for defense, arguing, quote, a free people ought to not only be armed, but disciplined. The president's speech also touched on things that are now considered modern day necessities, saying distant parts of the new country needed to be linked by dedicated roads and post offices. Washington wrapped up the first State of the Union address by stating, ensuring to our fellow citizens the blessings to which they have a right to expect from a free, efficient, and equal government. 11 years after Washington made those remarks, Thomas Jefferson changed the tradition to a simple written document sent to Congress, feeling that the spoken address was similar to speeches made by the monarchy in Britain. The written version continued until 1913 when Woodrow Wilson went back to the way Washington gave the address. In 1934, Franklin D. Roosevelt referred to the speech as the State of the Union. The name stuck, and the rest is history. Speaking of which, Ronald Reagan gave America a history lesson during his 1982 address. President Washington began this tradition in 1790 after reminding the nation that the destiny of self-government and the preservation of the sacred fire of liberty is finally staked on the experiment entrusted to the hands of the American people. For our friends in the press who place a high premium on accuracy, let me say, I did not actually hear George Washington say that. While President Obama will soon give his final State of the Union address, he's hoping to avoid what happened in 2010. When he was discussing the Citizens United decision, Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito shook his head and mouth the words, not true. George Washington certainly didn't have to worry about TV cameras catching Supreme Court justices disagreeing with him when he gave his first State of the Union address on this day in 1790. Cameron Kramer, One America News.